Felicity from Get Your Rock Out and I'm here chatting to a couple of the guys from Kill To This. How are we today? We are extremely good today. We've had a wonderful good. time. Yeah, it's good. been a great time. Set went well. Crowd was great. Yeah, so brilliant. Fantastic. And it sounded spectacular from here. So, <laughs> sadly I've not left this all day, but it sounded brilliant and I've had so many people that have been coming in and saying that you guys smashed it <laughs> fantastic yeah it's nice to hear we the, the crew up there were really really great helped us with our gear we had a really great front of house guy and uh, yeah it was one of those gigs where everything went really well you get worried with a 20 minute changeover um, but actually it was fine and we we had we really really enjoyed it yeah no, it was good I, I wasn't really sure what to expect really because uh, it's my first yeah well it's my first gig with a band in the UK so I had no idea what you know who, who would remember the band or anything and uh, as, it, as, it, as it turned out quite a few people did and, and they you know there was people who knew the words better than me which was uh, kind of weird but good well, it's, it's it's absolutely brilliant and it's like a first UK show goes I mean main stage blood stop it's all right yeah we right, it'll, it'll Kind of hard to top that. It's, yeah, absolutely brilliant. As, as Simon said from the stage, a festival like this, it, it's really about the music. It's not about the scene. Uh, it's not about poses. It's just a, really about the music and the love of music, and that's something that we're extremely comfortable with. We're not a band that's ever going to be, a, a, you know, a really trendy band to like the new the new band on the block or anything like that. But you know, people that are there for the music, then we're we're likewise of that that frame of mind. Fantastic, and you know, I mean, you, you say that, but also, it's been—it was quite a break that that you took, really. Um, but then, you know, you—I think I'm right in thinking that you've got something else coming out soon, and that maybe it, it's you're going to end up accidentally being one of these trendy young bands because you've you've kind of you know you've done the reformation, you brought out new stuff, and you might end up accidentally being one of the. Yeah, one of these that people knows? are like, oh, in vogue, you never know. <laughs> Who knows? Things have happened, I suppose. Absolutely, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with being a trendy young band, it's good. No, we were there once. <laughs> But there, there seems to be a huge resurgence in kind of bands like yourselves that are coming back around for a second time around. I mean, what what is it? Is it just a missing of the playing that then turns into recording because you enjoy it so much? Or is it actually the scene is so strong now that you really want to get back involved? I'd say it's a little bit of both. I mean, we were listening to D. Snyder last night talking. Did, did you hear his little oh, speech about, you know, when you've got fans that are supporting you for 40 years? So I, I think it's that, is that, it, you know, you've got genuine fans that still love the band and love the songs. Um, I think it, a lot of it's about nostalgia, to be honest. It's nostalgia for the band and it's nostalgia for the fans, though, you know, music's incredibly emotive and you listen to music and you're very much transported to where you were in your time of your life you can listen to an album like say Angels, uh, Angel Dust by Faith No More and you're transported back to that time in your life so I think it's that, partly yeah, I, I, yeah I'd agree with that, I think also it's just um, uh, there seems to be uh, well, from personally as well, it was uh, I don't listen to any of the sort of old songs that, that, that I recorded anyway uh, and I, I suppose Mark and Jeff are probably the same then all of a sudden you just think oh I'll just put that Deviate album on again that I recorded like 12, 12 years ago or 15 years ago or whatever and then oh there's some quite good songs on there in fact that was what you said when you phoned me up because the <laughs> He, pho he, he phoned me up and said, "Look, we, we Jeff's been talking to me, and, and we're thinking about getting Kills to this back together. Um, you know, because because we'd forgotten that there's actually some good songs. And uh, our old singer, um, d d you know, he's, he, he doesn't, he's not interested because he's, you know, he's moved on. He doesn't, he's not picked up a microphone for 15 years. So, uh, you know, do you want to do it? And uh, so, uh, yeah, great. And I'd forgotten as well how good Kills to this was. You know, you, you, I remembered like one or two songs, and I put I put Deviate on and Trinity on." And I actually was telling Mark, and, and even uh, the, the fourth album as well, I was saying to Mark, look, there's some good, song, good songs on that. And, no, it's not very good, that one. And, uh, and I, I said, no, no, that's good, that's good. That, oh, yeah, yeah, it is quite good, isn't it? So that's, uh, we've ended up, uh, the set's changed a little bit because of, because of those conversations. And so, well, like, with the new stuff that you're working on now, is it a nostalgic throwback that's an attempt to sound like previous stuff did, or have you just gone, sod it, we're doing exactly what we want to do right now? I think there's a little bit of both. I, I, I think it, it would be... 
it, it would be a silly thing to just lose the sound that we had and just kind of like bring out a pop punk album yeah you know we, we're not going to do that but certainly Simon's brought a fresh element to the band and there's um, a, a lyrical a, a melodic nature to the lyrics which is combined with the aggressive vocals and it's um, we just really want to write some great songs is first and foremost the next big thing is always a great song not, not the saying that we're going to be the next big thing but we're concentrating on great songs and we're not going to be the heaviest band in the world we're not going to be the fastest drumming we're not going to be the fastest blast beats or anything like that and we, we'll leave that to all the other boys we'll just concentrate on doing songs that we're con you know content with that we'd like to think stand the test of time so this is, it's, you're definitely around for a little bit longer, right? Absolutely. Well, we've got a tour booked, we've got a tour booked in October, November, end of October, early November, uh, which we're adding dates to at the moment. We're, we're going to announce that next week. Uh, but we're, we're doing, um, yeah, London, Bristol, Manchester, Huddersfield, Dundee. Uh, and then we've got another couple of penciled in at the moment. And then, you know, we're talking about a Paris date as well, so, yeah. Fantastic. Well, it's really, really great to chat to you. It's, it's fantastic. And no, I, I'm so glad that today has been such a good day for you. It's been wonderful. Yeah, it's been been a, a, the sun is shining. Yeah, yeah. You've got cake. Yeah, absolutely. The yeah. catering was fantastic. Really? Absolutely oh, you're brilliant. You're just making me jealous now, okay? Yeah. I've totally not eaten yet today. Oh, have you not? I've, I've stuffed my face with, like, I think, like, four bags of crisps so far, but that, that's not really eating. Well, you don't want four bags of crisps. Please no, have no, my tart. No, I don't want your tart. Oh, I, please, please I have my tart. Oh, are you not? No, I don't really have a sweet tooth. Oh, food. really? No, thank you for the offer. It's, it's very kind. My pleasure. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. It's thank been you. a pleasure. And I'm sure that I'm going to see you in the bar at some point later tonight. I'm sure you will over the weekend. Thank you very much for your time and interest. Thanks a lot. Cheers.